Hello and welcome to a demonstration on configuring a license manager on the Windows platform. We're going to be using the Mentor license utility and the reason for that is it provides a completely automated solution for everything from editing the license file and even installing hardware key drivers all the way through configuring the license manager as a Windows service making all the licenses available across the network. And before we get to downloading the utility, let's take a quick look at the license file that I just downloaded from SupportNet. Go ahead and scroll down and you can see I have an unedited license file and here's the server and daemon line indicating that this is a served license file usually floating. And in addition you can see the quantity is greater than and equal to one, also meaning that it is a server-based license file. So it's this floating license file that we'd like to go ahead and get configured. And at this point in time, my machine is not a license manager, so I need to do the complete configuration, again, all the way from editing the license file to configuring and starting the license manager. So I'm starting out on SupportNet. Here I am. Tech note 59429 and I'm going to go ahead and download the Mentor License Utility Install Executable and by default when I download any files on my browser it will place them on my desktop so it looks like that is done go ahead and minimize and there's the install program go ahead and run that and I'm going to take the default installation location of C Mentor Graphics that will actually create a Mentor License Utility subfolder for all of the files. So I'll go ahead and click OK and it will unpack and it will automatically start the License Utility program. Now if you've already got the Mentor License Utility you should find a shortcut for it down in the Mentor Graphics License Utility folder in the Start menu. So here we are in the Mentor License Utility main interface and we want to run the install license program. Now we can find that in two places. One is the setup menu install license file entry. And the other one is down in the bottom right called install license. So we'll go ahead and click the install license button down here. And here we have two options for installation. We can install a node locked or floating license file to this machine or the second option is to point to a license server for licenses. Now we have a floating license file that I want to install to this machine to make it a server so we're going to go ahead and take this first option and click Next and here it's asking for the license file. It's on my desktop and license.txt is the file that I showed you so we'll go ahead and double click at this point it's looking for any mobile compute node locked uncounted licenses. It didn't find any of those because I don't have any mobile compute licenses. I only have floating licenses. And here's a licensing software dialog. It's asking whether we should install the license server software. So we want to go ahead and click continue to make sure it's got all the necessary software for the configuration. Click continue. At this point it's configuring the license manager and there we have the configuration is now complete. It's created a Mentor License Manager service and it also has started the service. And the location of the license file that it has edited is in the default C Mentor Graphics slash license files slash server underscore license dot txt. And in addition it's set the MGLS underscore license underscore file environment variable to the port at hostname value of my server. This means that I could install Mentor Graphics applications for the licenses that I have and I could actually run those on my server machine. Now we have a few buttons at the bottom here. I'm going to go ahead and click on view license and you can see the license file looks a little bit different. We've got the server line that's been edited and the daemon line and the rest looks about the same and we can look at the view log scroll down it looks like we've got all the licenses installed so at this point I'll click close and so it looks like we've configured our license manager successfully and so that concludes the demonstration thank you